Hey guys, welcome back to Bushcraft Nick. This video, I'm going to be in the fort with Bushcraft Chris and Lumberjack Tom. Um, and we are going to be finishing up the bed. Well, I am. Both of them are going to be working on different projects. Um, and for Christmas, I bought, I got them both a saw, and Bushcraft Chris got a hatchet with a with fire steel. So we're going to be using that a lot eventually. But as of right now, we are going to be doing our own little projects. But before I start this video, um, at the time I'm recording this, I have 39 subscribers. So when this comes out, hopefully I'll have 40, maybe 50. But thank you so much for the recent support. Um, another Bushcraft YouTuber that is slowly on the rise is Bushcraft with L. He, his video and channel will be link, linked in the description. Um, Right now he's at like 100, so congratulations to him. And then also Alex in the Wilderness, he's just recording again. He has like 31 at the time. So both of the links will be in the description below. And let's get started with this video. And a quick weather update. It is currently lightly hailing. Well, not really hail, just heavy snow. All right guys, Lumberjack Tom found these scratches in the tree right here. We're thinking that it's a bear, but we're not 100% sure. There was a trail camera here, but there was nothing. It was just deer. That's a pretty cool find. But um, aside from all the snow, that's kind of annoying. We are gonna start working on this right here. Um, I got a tarp for Christmas. I got a bunch of bushcraft stuff for Christmas, so I'm excited to use that. Tarp will not be in use yet, but eventually it will. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a big log that goes across here and there, and then we're gonna have to put stakes in between and put and run um, like logs just like these along it, so it's a, like a bed to lay on. We're gonna have to do a little extension down there from for our feet, um, but other than that, I'm gonna get started by looking for a big enough log. Um, I'm gonna cut a tree down, and I see a perfect one, so we're gonna use that, and I will see you guys when I get that. Alright guys, I came across this tree that I think is definitely big enough right here to use. Pretty, pretty big. Um, definitely, I'll probably cut it like right here. Uh, it'll go down pretty easily. It's pretty straight and it should definitely be a good base. And I might even be able to use some of the rest all the way up there for um, our project. Also for Christmas, I got these cool, cool gloves right here. They're on the knuckles like sealed, so like don't really hurt. Um, but let's get started. I'm going to be cutting this with my new um, Backo Laplander folding saw. You'll see that in the next clip. Here's the saw right here, Backo Laplander. Comes with a nice little uh, leather strap. Um, so it is pretty cool. I'm gonna be traveling down that tree right there with it. So let's get started. Okay guys, I cut down that tree that we needed to finish the bed. So the thicker part over here, bigger in diameter, um, I'm gonna cut it two times the size that I need, and then it's gonna go right on top of those. And then the rest of it will be used as one part of the bed frame or the stakes that will be driven into the bed. This video, hopefully we'll be able to get to the whole um, branch laying, but I'm gonna try my hardest. So now I'm gonna go around to Lumberjack Tom and Bushcraft Chris, and they're gonna give you an update of what they are doing. I'm working on a shelter for other people sleeping. I'm looking for an area to build a mini shelter. All right, guys, there's many areas to choose from because Bushcraft Chris is doing it down there. Um, I have one down there, so that's gonna be a single down there, 
Uh, I'm not sure how big it will will be, but we'll get an update later on. And then Lumberjack Tom, um, he's still gonna look for the place. It might just be him, like enough size for him or other people, but we'll find out later in the video. As you just saw, I cut down both of these. Um, so every clip we're getting closer and closer to finishing this project. This is the first project that we ever started. Not sure if we'll finish it this episode, but let's just hope for it. So basically, we're gonna go and put in that there. And then we're putting, oh, I just got clipped by that. And we're putting the other one right here. So there's gonna be a, there's gonna be stakes on both sides of them so they don't roll around. And um, and then once there's stakes in them, then we're gonna have pieces of wood that go across, which that's gonna be like my bed that I'm gonna lay on. Um, and then, like I said, my feet are either gonna be hanging off down there, which is off camera, or um, I'm gonna build like a mini one just like this that my feet will be able to rest on. So as you guys just saw, I've cut that uh, one piece of scrap wood over there, I cut into four different stakes. So one more stake, one more scrap wood should finish. Pretty beautiful sunset right there. Um, but I'm going to get my saw. And as in Fort Origin, I have a cutting station. Sadly here, I do not have one. But all I'm gonna do is just look around, look for some dead trees. Like that one might be it, or this one by the river, which will look pretty cool while I'm cutting it. Um, but I need to sharpen those with my axe. That shouldn't take too long. I might have made them a little too long, actually, but that's all right. So let's get sharpening. Okay, guys, as you can tell, I found this beautiful area. Right there is the path we made down to go to the stream. Well, Bushcraft Chris made it. I didn't. Um, there's the path up. You can see Lumberjack Tom and Bushcraft Chris all the way down there working. Um, so it's gonna, might, the audio might get a little uh, choppy because you can't really hear with the stream. But remember, this is the area that I showed multiple times like that we, that we might be doing the catch and cook for and all different types of stuff. This uh, big dead tree right here is going to be used as the sharpening station, which is pretty cool, because I had one just like this in Fort Origin. And then you can see this ravine right here. It's kind of hard to tell, but this is like almost completely vertical. And there's a pretty nice forest down there and an open field down there. So you guys are just gonna like see me cutting it. I'm not gonna do any audio. It will be in time-lapse mode. And yeah. As you guys can tell, this is way too wet right now for me to be like chopping anything with. Um, I only tried it for a couple of seconds. I got this much, not very sharp. So I'm just gonna use my knife or my saw. Um, this will be the chopping station, but I just have to wait a little bit until this hardens up a little bit because this is extremely damp. Um, so with all like the other dead wood, I won't be able to use because it is damp. But um, uh, I'm gonna have to go with it. But actually, I just saw this dead piece right here that might work, but I'm not gonna use it because there's too many branches and I don't wanna cut them down right now. Because that will take time away because it's 325, my new watch. It's kinda hard to tell. Um, but my new watch is really, really nice. And I'm just gonna sharpen it with my knife. I'm not gonna put that part in the video because that'll take too long. And I don't want you guys to be watching that long. Alright guys, it's been like 10 minutes. I mostly used the saw, but not so much the knife. Um, I just cut myself a little bit. Not big time. Um, so I sharpened these three, cut them all with the knife. Not, the, I mean, the saw. 
definitely not the best. Um, but for now, it's gonna have to do. Lots of sawdust. So now I'm gonna go back up to the fort, nail these in, um, and then that might be the end, because it's kind of hard for you guys to tell, but um, it's starting to get pretty cloudy and dark. Uh, it's only 3, 3.36, so it's not a really big deal, but I'm just, no, I'm not 100% sure yet. You guys will find out though, um, depending on how much longer is left in the video. I don't think we're supposed to get a storm either, but I'm gonna go up there, check on Bushcraft Chris and Lumberjack Tom, and might we might call it a day. All right guys, we're gonna have Bushcraft Chris's update. So our fort is right down there. It kinda blends in now, it's getting a little dark. And then it goes right up to here. All right, so my plan is, where these two are, to come down to about right here, so it's gonna be a smaller fort, probably for one person. But I think I'm gonna come up here and go around up there. So I kind of highlighted, not really highlighted, but you know, with the dirt, it's kind of gonna be the fort area. So it's gonna come up and around and then down to there. It's gonna be a one person fort. And I got two posts up. All right, so guys, as you can see, you already nailed that two posts right here. This one right here and that one right there. And probably we'll come back before we end the video. So that'll be the third and final update. And now we're gonna go to Lumberjack Tom. All right. So right now he's cutting down that big log and then his fort is going to be right in this area, which is really cool. The weather's getting a little bit worse. You can see it's sticking to me, but I don't think it's supposed to get that bad. All right, guys, you could probably hear the weather. We're getting a little bit of a storm, but just snow, hopefully. Um, so right now, I'm gonna do what I told you guys. I am going to chop, not chop down anything, not yet anymore, not for a little while. I'm gonna put these stakes in all right here. So nothing is moving. We're going to do that one probably next video, but we still have a lot more to go for this video because it's only 3.45. So let's get started. All right guys, this is definitely good enough. This isn't going anywhere except up and that's not a big deal. So what I'm gonna do now, as you can tell, it's kinda, it might be hard to tell a little bit, but I put, I moved, it's only in the corner right here, but I moved some of the branches that we put up for the post, so I have um, a better area to chop this down, put it into the ground. Here's a different angle of it. Looks pretty good. Now all we need is just stakes for that one, which should just be one of these scrap pieces, and then we should be fine. All right guys. I finished. Um, I didn't record it because I felt like that would be unnecessary and a little too long. But I got four pieces. I didn't sharpen them because I just figured that I can just put them in or at least try to. This one cracked so like perfect that I definitely don't need to sharpen it. Actually, I might need to. Not sure. This one, I might not. And if I do, the knife, I mean, the new star that I have cuts like butter. So I don't need to worry about how fast it will cut. So I'm just going to start on this one. I hope this one goes in well. Alright guys, I nailed all four in. This one needed a little help with a tiny stick, but I got it. So this isn't going anywhere, except up, but there's no reason for it to go up. That's my, part this, that's my part for this video. We got this done and that done. Next video, we're gonna, actually might need bigger um, stakes to put in, but I'm gonna put branches laying across, cut myself a little bit from this branch, not my knife surprisingly. Um, so that's it for me this video. This is the last time I'll be talking probably, so if you enjoyed, like the video, follow me on Instagram so you know um, when I'm gonna be uploading and You'll see some cool pictures behind the scenes. Um, 
So now I am going to bring you guys to Bushcraft Chris. Um, so you will see what he has been working on. And then next video, we will get an update from Lumberjack Tom. Okay guys, the last part of the video is going to be Bushcraft Chris's update. Um, so last time you saw, he had both of these pegs in. But now he has one more. He's sharpening another one that is going to go right here. And then next time, hopefully he's going to build on the interior. And we are going to get a lot more done. So that is all for this video. Next video, there's going to be a lot more work done. Because everyone will be working next video. In that fort, Long Drag Tom is going to start working on his. And Bush of Chris is going to finish working on his. Well, probably not finish, but get more work done. So I'll see you guys later. Bushcraft Nick out.